Hello, it's Money and welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be doing another pack opening because it's not enough of a new Blood Friday, so you know it only makes sense. And since it is Friday and the new Bloods have only just come out, like I'm not going to show what they are on the screen in case you know you want to go find them out yourself. But we've got some pretty decent new Bloods, and I think my favourite in particular is one which is called Ardwiz because he's a wizard and. <laughs> it just amuses me how Urban Rifles literally just took the word wizard and then put it backwards and then boom, genius name. And I didn't properly show it, but as you can see here, there's a little promo offer for New Bloods right now. And essentially what it is is that for every three packs you open, you get one free. And when it came to making this video, like at first I was only going to open like maybe four or five. But you know, since um, you get three packs and all that stuff, I think it only makes sense for us to open six and then get two extra packs. Just because in the past New Blood releases there have been some really, really fantastic cards who I want. So let's just open this and hope that we get some of them. <laughs> Fingers crossed. So this is now, what, yeah, eight packs, 40 cards. So 40 cards, this is going to be fun. Let's just get straight for it, um, straight to it. Our attacks, yeah, not too fantastic. Ooh, Jiggy. Did I not own Jiggy already? But, um, yeah, Jiggy, the new missed card of Urban Rifles. Um, sorry to spoil that if you didn't know. And Darling. <laughs> so we got the card which is now Miss, and then we got the card which I wish was Miss. Yeah, I was on the team of Team Darling, not gonna lie. Like, I mean, Jiggy, fair enough. Like, she's attractive in her own rights, and um, Bloody Chaos did kind of convince a lot of the people in Urban Rifles to go vote for her, saying that they were going to make the missed cards even more powerful than what, DJ course, so of course people are going to fit for it, but I guess it's better than um, Serafina not getting missed just because when it does come to missed cards and all that, often what happens is that in the Urban Rifles community, it's usually the most overpowered card or the most expensive card which becomes missed. And I can understand that, like, on some parts, it is sort of the community being nice to others and giving maybe lower leveled players or not as rich players, an opportunity to play with the more expensive cards, but, you know, um, considering that it's a missed competition and it should be judged on presumably looks and looks alone, but I just feel like Miss Starling was worth it. But that's my little tangent about the Miss um, thing, news and all that stuff, in case you're wondering. Let's get back to a pack opening. And sl <laughs> enough of bloody Slades. <laughs> I get far too many of them, but... um. Yeah, I can see his price is quite dropping now, so that's not too fantastic. And Klimt, cards which I haven't yet to play with, but I reckon he'll be really handy in my Shunter DT decks. But right then we got enough of Klimt, so that wasn't too fancy. And after that we got this Vulture, a card which I really want to play with in DT, but I just haven't got around to doing so yet. And weirdly, after that, then we got enough of Dizzy Vulture, so quite literally got two Dizzy Vultures, two Klimt's, just a really, really weird thing which happened. After that, Ardwids, which I believe, well, is actually one of the new bloods, and it's the one which amused me the most just because of his name. But apart from that, I kind of wish I knew what the stats for this card was just because coming into this video, for whatever reason, I didn't look it up. But um, regardless of that, I think his art is really cute, and despite of all that, I think he's the card which I'll just play with, just down to the art more than anything. We got a Frogo, and... I'm not sure if that's one of the new bloods or not, but he's a card which I didn't have, so I'm kind of assuming, but um, yeah, I don't know anything about this card, so that must be one of the ones which was released when I was away, so yeah. <laughs> and after that, Pora, so a card which I've not really got around to playing with, and a crazy leg, so yeah, I remember when this card was in new bloods, and he was pretty decent, worth a fair amount, like, I'm sure he was over 90k at one point, but... Yeah, his price has just dropped massively, obviously. Next, another Ardwood, so, you know, nothing too fancy. And we got a Darling, so, yeah, I've already got a copy of her, but I still like the card, so I can't really complain too much about that. Next, we got a Seagull, so, yeah, um, classic Dominion card, but apart from that, not all that good. And a Gorok, so, yeah, a bit better for a Dominion card, so that's, I'm, I'm a bit more happy with that. And next, we got a stone heart. so quite literally, for whatever weird reason, we're just getting a whole load of Dominions, and I suppose cool, and another Klimt, so yeah, not the most fanciest. Hopefully, what we'll be getting next is something a tad bit better, just because I want something which is worth a real amount. And Matilda, okay. Yeah, um, 
it sort of amazes me how much Matilda's price has dropped just because I remember, of course, when she was released, she was like 150k or whatever, and now she's only a tenth of that. Like, she's literally only worth 15k, and that's just something which is so bizarre for me to say. And Slade, okay. <laughs> so, since that white is gone, we've clearly already got a card um, copy of him, but yeah, I'm not going to complain with that. Seagal and Goon Bones, already cards we've got. And Crater Legs again, so yeah, we're getting a lot of doubles. Hopefully, what we'll get next is something a bit more pricey, just because, you know, it'd be nice to get something just a tiny bit different. And then, let's, yeah, Sir Lambda, a bit different, but not quite what we want. And another Sir Lambda, weirdly, <laughs> after that, we got a Dizzy Fulcher, so I already got him, and a Star Prince. And it amazes me how Star Prince is apparently still a new blood, like, I thought he's been out for ages, like, how is he still in this pack? Like, I don't get it. After that, we, oh, Axe Battler, okay, yeah, so, something a tiny bit more pricier, and, um, yeah, no, that's a bit better. I mean, it's not quite Slade quality of price, but hopefully, we'll be getting cards worth, sort of, that caliber of price. That would be very nice. But let's have our fingers crossed. Come on, let's get something good. And, I mean, yeah, I love Blast, so I'm not going to complain about that at all. Like, Blast is still... A great card in my opinion, so I'm not going to be mad about getting him, am I? And let's see what's next. It's going to... Ooh, another Seagull. Okay, yeah, not quite. And after that, we get another Seagull. <laughs> Too many Seagulls already. Come on, let's get something just a tiny bit different. After that, enough, another Seagull. Wow. I mean, I'm watching this video back, but still, I'm amazed. Like, literally got three Seagulls in a row. Like, what is the odds of that? Seriously. If someone can figure out the odds of that, please tell me that in the comments down below, because I am incredibly fascinated. And Incubus, I mean, it's a bit different, but again, we've already got a copy of him, so hopefully we'll be getting something a tiny bit different. But five cards left, let's see what's next. Oh, Deathwing, awesome. Yeah, so I remember when this card was released, like, very pricey, and he's still worth, like, a solid 50k, so that's still pretty good. But he's not a card I've gotten to play with yet, so hopefully... After this video, I'll give him a spin. But after that, let's have a look. It's Klimt. So, yeah, we've already gotten, like, what, four copies of him or whatever. So, let's get something just a bit more exciting. Three cards left and enough Artax. Okay. Not quite there. Um, but, yeah, two cards left. Hopefully, we can get something really, really good in these last two cards. Let's see what it is. It is a Snuffer Girl. Okay. No, not quite. Come on final card let's end on something really really good just because apart from that death wing we've not had anything too amazing recently so come on final card let's see what it is and a stone heart i mean it's not a bad card but um that's not quite how we wanted to end the video but yeah there we go that was me opening eight new blood packs just because they had a new blood pack offer on yeah <laughs> amazing english fair but, um, yeah, I guess now I'll just wait a couple of weeks to open some more new bloods. But in the meantime, hopefully, when it comes to that, we'll get some for new bloods. Or, hopefully, even better, that new Montana, because seriously, that guy's really powerful and I want him. But in the meantime, I've been It's One. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.